What's up, guys? You guys like the kit so far? Hopefully, I really worked hard on it. How many of y'all got the kit already? Hi, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, today I decided I'm going to show you guys how I make my virtual slash hyper pop loops. I'm gonna play a couple so you can so you guys can tell me which one you want me to deconstruct. I'm probably gonna do just one or maybe two. You got the kit? Appreciate you bro. Appreciate you guys. For real, for real. Um but yeah. You don't have enough money? Well that's why I'm that's why I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make the like how I make the loops so you don't you know like you can just you can just learn how you can make it yourself. But yeah, uh, let me let me play a couple loops and you decide you decide which one you want me to deconstruct. Who started the wave? I feel like uh, there's two different origins. One is um the like the hyper pop uh the hyper pop crew which is like Starboy, Out of Town I think is the name of the other guy. Yeah, they they really st I feel like they started the way with Uzi, but then also internet money with like Real Ava and Cody and I feel like they also like kind of had their own their own wave. Um, but yeah. So I I really need to like you know it's not just it's not just Starboy and them like obviously they really did a lot for the sound. But also like Rio Leva and the whole internet money team really did a lot for that too. But yeah, let me let me let me stop talking. Let me stop talking and get get into it. Um so this is number one. This is number two. I feel like most people want four and two, but then again, some want three, but then again, somebody wants one. Um, okay, I'm gonna do two and four, two and four. Okay, I'm starting with the second one. So number two is gonna be deconstructed first. Let's start. Okay, we're doing two and four. I'm gonna be showing the screen and everything. So, this one so i feel like pretty much all of them pretty much all of them i do just like uh i start with a chord progression 
and Serum. So the, like the main VST that I use for this type of melodies is Serum. And there's like really, really great, uh, really great Serum banks that you can get online. I have a lot of them, so I don't really know which one I can, which one I can uh, recommend to you guys. But most of the time it's just like uh, banks for like EDM music, mostly like maybe um, f like Future Bass, uh, Future Bounce, maybe like even Synth Pop. But yeah, it's just like a lot of different, but like mostly it's like EDM, I guess. So this one, I use Serum and I'm not sure which bank I used, but this is what the melody sounds like and what it looks like. This is what the melody looks like. the main thing for these uh this type of melodies is just to have a really really simple chord progression but then have some like crazy melodies like on top of the chord progression because this chord progression is so simple bro like it's just a d sharp minor and c sharp major literally that's all I added. I literally just did EQ. It's nothing crazy. I just uh, lowered the the low the low frequencies. After that, what I did was I added the vocals. The vocals came from a royalty free uh, vocal EDM loop pack that I got online. I'm not sure what's the name of it, but you can get vocals like this anywhere. You can just like Google EDM vocal chops. Or you can go on Splice or you can use Arcade as I also like, I use Arcade and Splice a lot. So this is just the vocals. Um, let me, let me, let me find the original sample. So I, can, so I can find the original sample. This is what it sounds like without effects. Wait, what? Okay. So what I did, I just like chopped them around a bit and got this. So after that, what I did was I added this. I'm not even sure what this is. Let me hear it. Okay. Okay, so it's just a lead that I added. Oh, let me let me talk about this this first. The this part. This is a bass line, and the, pretty much most of my bass lines in loops like this is just like also also serum. All of my all of the sounds that I use is serum. But yeah, it's just like very simple bass lines that follow the root notes, but also may, sometimes maybe like go up or down or whatever, but it's mostly just following the root notes. So what it sounds with, what it sounds like with vocals and the main melody is like this. Bro, I'm the worst at these. Okay, here it goes. Last thing I added is this lead, which like takes it just like to the next level. And I feel like maybe this is dope for like an outro or maybe like a second part of the hook. So 
when I when I arrange loops, I have like you know different parts that can be used. And this is not just for virtual loops. This is for every like literally every every type of loop that I make. I make different um div like I make I arrange the loops so it has different parts. So you can so the producer who uses the loop can you know arrange it the way he likes it or she likes it. You know. So this is the lead. I really don't know how to explain the lead. It's literally just, you know, whatever, I, like what I felt like sounded right with the chords. <laughs> That's it, really. And let me just see what I use for these, for the effects, for the for the chords. I really just did EQ for the vocals. I did, I added reverb. Obviously, like everybody who knows me knows that I just like use reverb for everything. And I also did some. It's probably just like a low filter. Then some EQ just to bring, like I did a I I. So this is what I do for vocals, right? I add a low filter and then I do like a, I add a high, uh, I add a EQ and I really like lower all the lows and bring up the highs. I don't know, for some reason that sounds fire to me. Maybe I'm just like doing some weird shit, but I feel like that sounds fire. Yeah, and the master, the master channel is like RC20 and I do, I add some digital, I add some space, add some magnetic distort. And noise and I use the 8-bit noise I really like that sound honestly but yeah that's pretty much it oh and just another EQ to maybe boost some frequencies and I added ozone why did I add ozone just to make it louder I guess but yeah that's pretty much it that's it for this loop do you guys have any questions for this loop or do you want me to go straight to the next one you know I have to add some space because it's like space loop yeah let me know if you have any questions for this one but maybe i forgot to say something next one you guys ready did this get placed no it's li it literally just came out in my loop back last night how did I, how do I find banks for serum? Um, just like online, I guess I just search for them or maybe somebody recommends me one, but most of the time it's just, I go on Google and search for banks. How do I EQ my base? Let me check. Base, I just, okay. So for the base, I literally just boosted the lows a little bit and that's it. I only use presets because I really don't know anything about sound design. I, you know, it's just like too complicated. I'm not trying to get into it. Okay, I guess that's all. So let's go to the next one. The next, you guys wanted this one, right? Yeah. These two kind of sound similar, so maybe I'll just do another one too. Like I'll do this one, but I'm, I might do the number one too. But yeah, let's do this one now. It's crazy how you're industry, but you help the community a year ago. Appreciate you, bro. I don't really feel like I'm industry. I mean, even though I have, you know, big songs, I, I don't really feel like I'm industry. Like, you know, I'm still here sitting in my, sitting home making beats all day on my laptop, you know? Maybe it's just because of Corona, but like, I don't really feel industry yet. Um, yeah, let me... Oh, I, I think I didn't say what, what the BPM was for the last one. The BPM for the last one was 134. This one is 138. But yeah, let me, let me show you this one. Okay, I actually didn't use Serum for this one, which is crazy because I really use it for almost every loop. I used Hype for this one, which 
I bought Hive two times. I, I bought Hive like last year for some reason, randomly, and I forgot about it. And like two months ago, somebody told me about Hive, like, yo, you should definitely buy Hive. It's great for, it's great for virtual beats. And I was like, okay, bet. And I just went and bought it. And when I installed it, I just got a message like, you already, you already have this on your computer. So yeah, that was stupid, but at least it's fire. So let's see which preset I used for it. Because this is, I can just show you. I used Sky for sounds, chip sounds, LD Happy Toy. That's what I used. So this is what it sounds like. This is also a very simple chord progression. But yeah, I forgot to say, say this in the last one. But um, so this is a thing that I really do a lot. So when you have a when you have a chord progression, like when you make a chord, so this is a, a D sharp minor chord, I think. This is the chord, right? D three. So what I do a lot is I take this middle note and I like put it an oct octave up and it gives it, you know, like a way better sound. It sounds different. And I really like what it sounds like in these, in these um, virtual loops. That's very simple. And let's see what I did for the effects. I boosted the highs and the mids, and you see what I did with the lows. My English is super trash today, bro. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I also added reverb, obviously. You know, I wouldn't be me if I didn't add hella reverb. The next thing I did for this one is, I think the next thing was the vocals, bro. And the vocals are from, in this one, the vocals are from Arcade. Which I don't know how I, like, I don't know how I feel about Arcade right now because of the whole Nick Mira thing. But I guess they can't steal vocals, so the vocal banks are cool. So this is what the vocals sound like. and what it sounds like with the, with the chords. The next thing I did is I added this, which is, what is this? Okay, this is just like a counter melody, I guess. This is also high. Yeah. And after that, I added the bass line, which is in serum. After that, I think this is the last thing that I did, was this. It's just the same chord progression, but with, um, but with a different sound and with some like more melody to it.
I like this part here. Yeah, that's the thing with these. That's the thing with that's the thing with these virtual melodies, bro. Like the chord progressions are always so simple. It's really about the. I, it's really like the main thing is just to find the right sounds and to like make the right top melody. But that's it, really. <laughs> Yeah, but this one was really this one was really simple to make honestly, but I really like it. Effects are just EQ, reverb, EQ, reverb, EQ, 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 reverb. That's it really. Control right click, bro. Don't drag it with the mouse. I can't do control right click while I'm holding, while I'm holding the phone with one hand. I only got one hand, bro. I can't, you know, I can't do that shit. Um, and the master channel is just RC twenty again with literally the same effects. Yeah, that's it for this loop. And let me just do the first one too. And that's gonna be it. Hopefully this guy this is this is helpful for you guys. For everybody who couldn't buy the kit. Hopefully this but I mean like don't copy these loops though. <laughs> don't just make your like don't just make your own ver like your version of them. Make something original. But yeah. Hopefully this helps you. So the this one is I feel like this one is the most simple one. But the most different one out of like these four that I played. This is one sixteen BPM. So the reason why I like this loop is because it's like it has a couple layers and they all like com um it's not like i feel like all of these layers kind of like complete each other not not just like by layering each other but the melodies just like complete each other i guess so this is the first layer <laughs> As you can see, it's very, very, very basic. So what I did after that is I added this other pattern, which is by itself also really basic. But when you put it together, it sounds like this. After that, I added these plugs, which also like completed even more. So this is what they sound like by themselves. But with the, with the other plugs. thing the vocals which is like my favorite part most of the time the vocals just add so much bounce bro but yeah so that's what I I feel like, did I show you all of the our, uh, vocals are arcade? I used the hooked this one. All of the melodies are serum from just like some bangs that I found online, pretty much just like for like future bass, I think. I made a beat with this one, but I just, you know, did, didn't do anything with it and decided to just put it out as a loop. Um, 
but yeah the facts are the same as every other eq eq oh this, this is actually empty eq eq and eq just like eq and vocals reverb and eq master channel is rc20 and that's it eq and limiter but that's that's really it okay hopefully that was hopefully that was helpful to you guys um do you guys need to like do do you have any more questions not for this like for this loop or for just like the loops in general do you have any questions that i can answer before i dip but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave this up for for a while so you guys can watch it even if you had to leave here we go appreciate you bro yeah, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for sure. Can you make a loop on the spot 10 minutes max? Probably, but I don't really try making loops very fast. I just like, you know, try to make them sound as good as possible. Is it best to send 8 bar or 16 bar loops? I send like up to like, I don't know, 60 bars, whatever. Like it's, it's important to, you know, make it as a whole like make it a whole composition the serum sounds are not included in anything like the, i i'm not a sound designer what chord progressions and scales do you mostly use um i feel like any chord progress like any i mean just like the most basic chord progressions i don't know the names really but yeah just the basic chord progressions and scales i just use any scale really doesn't matter Am I only making virtual, sh virtual shit or just guitars? I may, I make everything, bro. But like right now, I'm doing virtual because that's what artists want for me the most. But yeah, okay. I appreciate you guys for for joining. Hopefully, this helps you. Do you get in trouble for giving out sauce like this? Who am I gonna get in trouble with, bro? Not nah, bro. I like I can't get in trouble. Why would I get in trouble? But yeah, that's it. Peace. Hopefully this guy this helped you guys. Yeah. Peace.